Reading Fire is closing out its burn season at the end of this month. This is after adding four extra months to this year's preparation. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum spoke with Reading Fire and has more on how the extended prep can impact fire season. Reading Fire added the four extra months to this year's burn season to make a bigger impact on the community and to cut down on the fire fuels. People work Monday through Friday. Sometimes you can only burn on weekends. Uh, and it gave people a bigger, bigger opportunity on those days off to get more done. So you could spend an entire month just clearing property. The department thinks the rain and snow in the city has helped a lot. But they are ready for even more grass this year from the rain and dry weather to come. We as a department actually just got a brand new Model 34 brush engine in the department, which will greatly help us get out there and get to those brush fires, those grass fires. Robbie and Sarah Ennis tell Action News Now they've taken advantage of the extended season and hope others will too. Help. We just cleared our property and did some huge burns and um, have a little bit left to do right before the end of April. But yep, yes. a lot of defensible space and cleared areas and definitely helped us out getting our property cleaned up for the fire season. And the last day to burn in the city is April 30th at 5 p.m. But you can still apply for a burn permit to take advantage of this last week. Just visit our website actionnewsnow.com for more details on how to get a permit. Reporting in Reading, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now coverage you can count on. If you still have more to burn after the deadline, you can throw it in the green waste bins or contact the city.